Hanging Rock, I think, is just a really special place and it has a real feeling. That wonderful tale of those ethereal young girls disappearing into the vapours on the rock, I think it's fabulous. What an amazing place to be able to conduct this welcome this afternoon, to be able to share this opportunity alongside representatives from neighbouring mobs. Benge, Womanjika, Bengen and Ojendak. Womanjik, welcome. Wurundjika, welcome to the land of, of the Kula Nations. And today, this is an acknowledgement of country, and I'd like to pay respect to my elders, past and present. Well, I'm just hoping that I get home from Hanging Rock, because there seems to be a bad pattern with Mirandas coming here. All the communities are coming together. It's going to be a great day. I feel like the, the film is such a cult classic. I think people who are obsessed with the, with the film they're very familiar with some of those movements and so we really wanted to, to draw on that kind of cult status to, to really be able to bring people into the project. Christy and I spent a lot of time watching the film, looking at what we thought was fun, as we, we approach everything from fun or ridiculous. And just kind of finding within the footage some bizarre and beautiful kind of choreographic movements that were already within the film. And then we worked with another choreographer, Joe Fairley, who is a dancer. Um, and has done a lot of dance teaching and she helped us to sort of structure it in a way that would be easy enough to learn but uh, for beginners and also um, challenging enough and fun to do for people who've got dance experience. And the film's full of great dramatic moments so I mean for us it was about having a variety of movements that look good in a crowd. So we did think about the upper body a lot, about what sort of shapes would be made um, and what would be easy to follow on the day as well. For those who would, some people will be turning up today never having done it before. We girls got together and had our own little rehearsal in our own time, which was good. And there's rehearsal here today, so we're going to really nail it. <laughs> Sydney, close one. As, uh, as artists, the thing that was really exciting and what we do with Asking for Trouble is really around communities doing artistic, creative things together. And it's been really nice in the workshops because we've been teaching the choreography, but we've also been giving people a chance to meet people they don't know and it feels like a real kind of community building activity as well. 
Well, do we really care about white women of privilege disappearing on a rock? Uh, we were just we were just saying Miranda probably had servants set up her picnic, so I think it's best left as a mystery. I think that's what the power of the film, something left unsaid, something left unfinished, is where the mystery really lies.